A couple years ago, I got to do one of the greatest professional pieces of my career. Drawing a very special fan art piece for my good friends at Disney. I drew all Disney produced Marvel Cinematic Universe movies before Infinity War. And they displayed it as a giant mural that was shown in theaters all over the world. This has got to be one of the funnest projects of my career and memories to last a lifetime. However, this was two years ago and a lot has happened since then. So I thought to myself, why don't we do something fun? Why don't I take pieces from the original mural that I did and turn it from an Infinity War mural into an Infinity Saga mural? The groundbreaking series that Marvel and Disney have put together. I'm going to complete this mural by adding to it the rest of the Disney produced movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. For the new Infinity Saga piece, I'm going to take the individual movies that I drew and rearrange them, leaving four more spots. And those four more spots will include Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Captain Marvel, and Endgame. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun, on one side have Thanos, on the other side I've had Tony Stark, and at the bottom I'm going to draw the portal scene. Assemble. It all starts with Infinity War. To get ready for it, my patrons and I, we revisited Avengers Infinity War. And I got inspired, and while watching it with my patrons, I actually went and drew a brand new piece for Infinity. when adding to the mural, I can't just draw every single scene in Infinity War. If you look at the original mural, I had to be very selective. To be honest, I didn't have a lot of time to put that piece together. So the new pieces have to match what I already did with that original mural. So I also wanted to highlight the children of Thanos as well. Also because I've never drawn them before, so that was a lot of fun to me. because I realized I couldn't draw every single hero that was in this movie. I wanted something that represented the sadness that we felt at the end. That's why I drew the Avengers at the end, realizing that they lost. So I decided for Infinity War, of course I wanted to focus on Thanos because that's what really Infinity War was. It was a movie really about Thanos. Now this time around, I'm not doing this for Disney. I'm doing this on my own because I love this series and I want to see this particular piece completed. So Disney has nothing to do with me putting this particular video together. However, Hopefully they won't tell me to take this down, so I am going to plug Disney Plus! Make sure you get Disney Plus. I've had it ever since it came out. Uh, I love watching The Mandalorian, and I love re-watching all of these Marvel Infinity Saga uh, movies. It's so amazing, and you can do that on Disney Plus. So I finished this piece, and I was really happy with it. I couldn't wait to see how it would fit with this new composition for the Infinity Saga. And there it is, one movie down, three more to go, and next week I am going to be adding Ant-Man and the Wasp. Gonna be a lot of fun.
So this is going to be a very fun project. This will take me a few weeks to do, and I would love for you guys to be a part of it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. What in Ant-Man and the Wasp, what movie, what, what should I focus on? Which characters should I feature in that Ant-Man and the Wasp piece? And if you are a patron and in the $25 tier, we actually do a Zoom watch party where we actually watch that movie together. We will be doing that every Friday. If you would like to become a patron, please uh, check out the link down below. But patron or not, the next video will drop next Monday. Make sure you hit the bell so you won't miss uh, me putting this particular Infinity Saga piece together. Also make sure you hit that like button, share this video with all your friends, and thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. My name is James. I am the box office artist. I'm here to say keep drawing. I'll see you all.